really nice feature in version 5.0 is web page proxy via server. Um, and what this allows you to do is to proxy uh, local device or application web pages, which may be, be only available on-prem, uh, like in a closed network. You can proxy those via one of the Annex servers. Um, so for example of how this works, right? you can see I've got a camera here, uh, 192.168.1.16. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a web page. Right? I want to put in that IP address, 192.168.1.16, which is a local IP address. I'm going to call this uh, the car lift camera web page. And I'm going to choose this checkbox here, proxy the, this web page via a server. And I'm going to choose the one server here uh, for that, right? Um, so this will allow me to add that camera web page, uh, which is only available on the local area network, um, and access it remotely. I am not in my local area network right now. Uh, if it's a secured web page, you're still going to have to put in the password like I'm doing here. Um, but this allows you to log into that web page remotely uh, from a remote, remote location um, and view the camera web page as if you're on the local area network. Um, so a lot of different cool ways to use this feature. Like I said, third party integrations, uh, soft integrations uh, via the web browser to um, temperature, IO devices. Um, if there's a local web service that you only have access to on-prem, you can you can use NX uh, to get there, right? It's a huge feature, allows for a lot of, head it solves a lot of headaches if you're a, a, someone who works remotely on customer support. And it's just a really cool, powerful new feature. Uh, version 5.0 available now, uh, web page proxy via server. Go check it out.